And the UPS man is here. Hi. This is Steve Sink, also known as Pagan, Pagan Productions. I'm here with my brand new railboard. Uh, railboard number 6763. Um, check it out, Xavier. There's, here is the uh, address from Stick Enterprises with my musical instrument, insured serial number 6763. My name, which I've blacked out, and oh, here's the packing slip. Let me take the packing slip out first. Gonna rip that off, and let's. Probably not the most exciting thing we could possibly look at first. Uh, and I'm not even gonna mess with trying to undo that at this moment. I'm cutting it off. Everything must be cut. Uh, I've got green screen here in case I want to insert some awesome background at some other time in the future, right next to the Christmas tree, because um, today's 21st. It's gonna be Christmas. All right, uh, it's just a UPS tracking thingy. Cambria Hunt from Mystic Enterprises, etc., etc., etc. Yes, UPS Ground, my address. Put that to the side. Um, what's next? Open this darn thing. Anything else on the box? Fragile, of course. Fragile, 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 fragile. And it's time to open the box. Ah, uh, let's see. I got the hard shell case, so the hard shell case should be, let me see, I'm not doing this, I should have gotten bigger scissors, which I can do, I have bigger scissors, all two feet away, but no, not anticipating ever using this box again, but Let's not make anybody wait. It's cold because it's been sitting in Detroit post office for the weekend. Oh, look at that hard shell case. Very, very cold actually. Freezing. Woo! Feel that metal part. Looks like the case has got one or two tiny, itsy bitsy little divots in it. I expect a perfect pristine cake. No, okay. Um, pulling it out, careful minding the Christmas tree. Don't want to drop my round board before I've even looked at it yet. Do you take scissors? I have the scissors. Do you need the scissors? Yes. Can you please wait? We're in the middle of recording. Okay, sorry, had minor technical interruption there. Had to return the scissors. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, sorry, we're back. Uh, we had technical interruption there uh, twice now. Uh, maybe, hopefully, not a third time, but anyway. Uh, we will get this thing open. Um, stick, you'll see, it's cleverly right here with a little dot, probably to indicate trademark. Um, hard shell case. Anything else in the box? More bubble wrap on the bottom. Yeah, it's stuck to the bottom. All right, we won't worry about that. Okay. Um. Next, I guess, is to open it. I'm not sure which is top, which is bottom. Looks like. Dum dum dum. Whoa! Come here. All right, you are here. Camera can't see this. Let's pick up camera and show. Earth. Earth, you always. All right, get on over here, Xavier. Uh. Railboard in its case, soft foam case. 
covered in plastic. Just a layer of plastic on top, actually. Go ahead and pull that layer of plastic off there, Xavier. Set that to the side. And that is dark blue. Wow. This is where I need light. And Xavier's already played it before I've got to even touch it yet. Oh no, you've played the rail board. Let me get the light over here. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Quick plug for the D-Bro holder, which I've made actually three of. The other one's prototype. Varnished them, shellacked them, made them look cool. Yes. Okay. Let me take out everything that's not the rail board first. Just to tease. You have your standard you, uh, why, uh, let me get you out of the picture there, Xavier. You're not the, I want you the star of the show, but child labor laws and all that. You notice your arm's still in the picture there, too. There we go. Okay. Um, we have cables. Looks like my... I don't know if that would be two. Oh, this must be a single to, to a single, uh, single to, double to single stereo. Here's the stereo. Sorry, I can't even speak. I'm so excited. There we go. There's our doubles. Blue and red, white cable. Ah. Stick SGY cables. Instrument cables. Stereo. Stereo cables. Which I have to close already, but. Next strap already attached. Hoo hoo hoo. Put that aside. Hey, look at that, free hands video probably. Parallel Galaxy, happy holidays. Oh, awesome. Look at that. Emic Chapman's awesome. Parallel Galaxy. There's the man himself. Awesome. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Appreciate that. And our, probably our receipt, packing info, guarantee, guarantee, legalese to the owner of a new stick. So we'll look through all that stuff later. Well, RTFL, read the freaking manual later. Um, awesome. What else we got in here? Key. Ah, probably to the board, uh, to the um, case. Key to the case. It's a nice case, by the way. Look at that soft foam rubber everywhere. Ah, tools. Can you come over here and let me take a look at these tools, Xavier? Are you looking at this? Uh, you'll notice. Your uh, adjusting tools, one, two, three, are just dug right into there, nice and cool. Um, let's see if we can find the serial number on this thing somewhere. Serial number, we'll look for that later. And we have one more thing to do freehand book, which we've never had before. We've been trying to figure this out on our own, believe it or not. Uh, well, as much as the internet can tell us. Awesome! I've been wondering what was on this thing, on this book. That I've heard so much about. Oh wow. Chords, three finger scales. Uh, chords rather, three finger chords. Ten scales. And the whole thing. Alright, upward slide, you know that. And glisses. Okay, sorry, let me not get distracted with the book. Dun 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 dun. Let's lift out the rail board. Ooh, it's cold. It is freezing cold. It is a huge icicle. Because it has been in a, the back of Detroit. Oh my gosh, that is just beautiful and heavy, of course. Everybody says it's heavy, and it is heavy. Not, not obscenely so, but heavier than... Oh wow, so thin. Look at that. Are you looking at this? Let me put fingerprints and nastiness all over this already. But it is just freezing, absolutely freezing from out, being outside. So I should let it warm up to room temperature slowly. I'm not even having any idea where the camera is. Sorry, look at me. Hi, this is the new Sapphire Rail Board. Now you can call it blue, but this is aluminum oxide, 
which if it was iron oxide we'd call it rust. So it's aluminum rust and the only thing that makes it different from sapphire and ruby and corundum is the color, which in this case is blue. Dark blue, very dark blue, awesome. I'm actually happy that that's dark blue. I was hoping it was darker and not too light. Pictures I've seen actually make it look a little bit lighter than real life. Sweet, that's blue. I could easily have mistaken that for black. Unless I saw the black, which obviously is black. Let me look at the black. Let me look at the rail block. So we've got our three knobs on each side and stereo knob. What else we have? Oh, we got the beginning of the uh, hole for the mini pickups, I believe. I believe that's what that is. Yep. That's where the mini pickups would go in, routed through here and plugged up for cosmetic purposes probably. And then the back of the rail board looking all nice, your standard hook, belt hook, truss rod, double adjuster. Ooh, now let me attempt to actually make a sound with it. Pardon me while I Now I play my instruments acoustically all the time, so I don't worry too much about plugging it in. We'll get to that later. It's actually too close to me to play it like this. Ah, I should just use the Vibro holder. Patent pending for him, not for me. Sorry, my least attractive one at the moment, but. There we go, that's what that's in for. Strap will take off for now. Put in the case. And. Much more metallic sounding. But just like perfect, I mean obviously it's perfect, I mean because it's, it's one huge piece of shiny sapphire encrusted aluminum, but um... F frets that actually could play, wow! Like regular fret, like regular frets. That's why I'm confused, because the F frets are so huge up there. Anyway, sorry, not here to play anything, uh, just to unbox it. It is unboxed in mine, and I'm going to plug it in, and I'm going to caress it and love it and stroke it and call it George. Um, no, I am going to call it my sapphire rail board because it is sapphire. Not that that makes a difference to anybody. It's blue otherwise. Um, and it's mine. And I love it. Look at that. Oh, and it is heavy. It is heavy. Not grossly or obscenely heavy at all, just it looks like it would be lighter than it physically is. Oh wow, uh, I've never seen one of these by the way, I should mention, up close, uh, or at all, not even from a distance. I've seen a video of them, and um, it is wider than I thought, or I knew, it, I knew intellectually it was wider, but it is definitely wider, and there is nothing, oh, and there's this little scalloped finish to the fret board that's just beautiful. Oh, I could just eat that up. Uh, black tuners. Um, yeah, they are black tuners. And that's all I have to say about that. Hip shot, of course. Uh, the back of the... The back of this puppy. Move your hands. Hey, Gleaver, you had your hands in the video the entire time, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. See that camera right there? If your hands are in front of it, here in the camera. So, can you pull over this way a little bit? Have a seat right there. There you go. 
and I'll turn the camera away from you. There we go. Okay. And now I've got a monitor behind me, which is even worse. Uh, but I'm not a professional uh, unboxer. I'm just a uh, musician who unboxes things and records it for you. I just kissed that. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't have much more to say about it. Uh, we'll see the glow in the dark. Ah! These white little dots are filled with glow in the dark epoxy resin that will, as suggested, glow in the dark. Definitely be trying those out in a bit. Um, till then, that's all I have to say. I'm going to fire this thing up and slowly let it warm up. It's just in my hands already warmed up. Although uh, the back, which is solid, thicker metal, uh, is still a little bit colder. So this was ice cold as if I pulled it out of a, not a, not a refrigerator, but out of a freezer, actually. Uh, it came right off the back of the truck and it sat there in that truck for the entire weekend. So it's as cold as the outside, which is high 30s, because um, I'm an American. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Xavier.